Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be using Google Text to Speech module in Python. We're going to be converting uh, some text into uh, MP3 files. Okay, so this is the module we're going to be using. So go to the uh, to, uh, to this website and then copy this link to the clipboard if you want to install and then just paste it into the terminal. So make sure you have a file here that you want to, you know, create your program in and then just paste it here. Or if you're using pip3, you can uh, type in pip3 install uh, gtts. So make sure the, the spelling is correct. Okay, I've already installed this, so I don't need to do it again. So once you've uh, installed it, uh, what you need to do, go into your file, and then we're going to import it. We're going to say import, actually, not import, from gtts, and then we're going to say import uh, g TTS like that. I should, I need to disable this. Uh, it's disabled. Okay, like that. GTTS like that. Okay, so here it's quite easy to you know convert any text to an MP3 file. What we need to do, let's say text, and then we're just going to say equal to GTTS, and then here we're just going to pass in the text okay so i'm just going to say hello world okay so here down here i'm just going to say text dot uh, save okay so we're well, just uh, you know save this text as an mp3 so here what we need to do is give it a file name for example i'm going to say this uh, to hello dot mp3 okay so now let's uh, run this to see what we have. So let's run it. Okay, so uh, there's an issue. It says cannot import name GTTS. GTTS, okay, let's see if there's something wrong here. The import name is wrong. It has to be capital letter S, like this. Okay, so make sure the namings are correct and then run. Okay, so there is, there's our file. Now you can play this file. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear this file. I'm just gonna open this file. Hello. As you can see, uh, the the file is playing. Okay, I'm using VLC Media Player, by the way. The file is playing. So uh, that's the basics of, uh, you know, how to uh, generate uh, the MP3 file. You can put more text here. Okay more text and then you can you know run it again and then uh, rerun okay so what we're going to do is we're going to use a bit of uh, object oriented programming so let's start by creating a class I'll remove this I'm gonna say class I'm gonna name this uh, teach actually uh, text to speech maybe text to speech that's the class so in here uh, we're going to define init. Okay, so I'll remove this none. Uh, we're going to do a few variables. So the first one is the text. Okay, and then the second one is going to be the language of whatever language you want to convert your text to. Okay, and then file name. Okay, so in here, I'm going to do self dot text. Okay, so the text, we're going to set that to this uh, text here. So this is a, a constructor method, by the way. So that's where we need to do our variables. So let's do self dot uh, lang, oops, language to lang. So make sure it's an equal sign. And then self dot file name equal to file name. Okay, so now uh, we've done our variables. So I'm going to define a new function in here. Define and then this one let's call it speak. You can name it whatever you want. So here we're going to pass in self since it's a class. Okay, so here um, what we're going to do is we're going to say text. So the text we're going to do what we did up here. Okay, so uh, I don't know why we imported this here. So what we're going to do is g t t s because we want to you know convert the text whatever text we pass in to mp3, okay? So here, the text, I'm just gonna say, hello uh, world, 
class class okay so that's the text um for the language uh by default let's say we want it to be english i'm just gonna say self j just in case we want to define you know uh, different languages so i'm just gonna say self dot uh, language the name of the language okay and then i'm gonna say slow equal to false i don't want the voice to be slow okay so uh, this is uh, our default stuff and then down here we we'll go do text dot save okay text dot save and then here I'm, I'm just going to do an f string okay so because i want to use the variable because this is going to be the file name whatever file name that we want to save it to so i'm going to say self self dot file name okay so this is variable here file name dot mp3 b3 like so okay so now we have the mp3 with the file um i think this is yeah this is it what we need to do is go down here and then i'm going to say person one uh, equal to text to speech the class we're creating our in, an instance of this class okay so this instance is going to be person one and then um we're going to pass in um we're going to pass in actually we don't need to pass in anything in here uh the text actually the text which is here we don't need to put in here so here we want our text to be dynamic so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of this text okay because i want it to be dynamic so you're gonna say self dot text okay so here we pass in the text this is a test okay test that's the text and then the next thing is going to be the language so the language we want it to be english eng if you put ru that's russian okay and then the file name let's just say test that's for the file name okay so now we have person one with this um this instance how do we run the speak function well we just need to say person one does speak okay and then we call the function and then now let's run let's see what we have okay as you can see now we have the generated file here test.mp3 we can you know review this and play as you can hear it's working okay that's the file it's uh working now what we need to do is to try to read some text from a file okay instead of uh you know writing this manually let's try to read a text from a file how do we do that well let's create uh let's delete these texts here uh these mp3s here and then what we also need to do uh let's create some files i'm gonna say file one dot txt txt and then file two dot txt okay so make sure it's a txt txt okay so file 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 one it should be file one file one dot txt i'm gonna say this is a file one text go to the next line okay so this is file one i'm just gonna copy this I'm just gonna say this is file two text. Uh, thumbs up <laughs> if you love this video. Okay, so this is file two. So now what we need to do, uh, we're going to uh, open these files. How do we do that? So well, I'm going to create an uh, empty variable here. I'm just gonna say file text file text and then i'm going to say equal to an empty string okay so since it's an empty string i'm going to say with open we're going to open the file okay so the file name is uh file one file one dot txt i'm sorry about the background noise guys i don't know what's going on downstairs uh file one and then we're going to read okay so we're going to read the file and then we're going to uh, say as file one okay that's the name and then here we're just going to say file text 
file text equal to file one file one dot read we're just reading the file okay so now this variable here we're going to save whatever we're reading into this variable here okay whatever we're reading is going to be in this variable so down here instead of using this um we need to uh, get that data from the file so what we can do we can just say this is going to be a uh, file text okay so now let's run this okay now it's a moment of truth let's open this in explorer let's run it see it's working so we need to do the same thing for file 2 i'm going to duplicate this uh we're, we're going to use file 2 later okay so file 1 and file 2 and then file text uh file text 2 file text 2 okay so wh what we need to do is just to make some kind of uh graphical user interface uh let's use uh tk enter so we're going to say from tk enter and then we're going to import everything by the way if you want to use the default voice of your operating system uh let's say you're on windows or mac uh down here what i can do i'm on windows uh, let's import os so we can say import os okay so down here i'm just gonna say well i'm just gonna say os to system here so let's say i want to pick a voice i'm gonna do an f string uh let's do f string okay so in here i'm just gonna say we don't need to do an f string actually um yeah let's do an f string let's do self so we're gonna do self dot file name i'm sorry about the background noise uh self dot file name okay dot mp3 uh mp3 mp3 okay so now for for windows if you want to choose the default you know voice you do start like this and then space and then the file name dot mp3 or if you're on mac what you need to do is you need to do af af play okay so for windows you do start for mac you do af play okay so i'm just gonna leave it like this so now let's go for the graphical user interface uh let's go i'm gonna remove person to speak i want to call speak when i click a button or something so let's do window equal to uh tk okay tk enter so down here i'm gonna say window dot title window dot title window dot title so here i'm gonna i'm going to say equal to uh text to speech text to speech okay so test the speech and then i'm going to say canvas canvas equal to canvas canvas and then i'm going to pass in the window object uh, window so window width i'm going to set the width to 300 and i'm going to set the height to also 300 so you can mess around with this uh these values to whatever values that you want to do to, to do i'm going to do canvas dot pack okay and then we need to do the window main loop again window dot main loop and then let's save let's see what we have run it we should have a window okay because uh, we're not using this yet so let's try to comment this out okay so let's save there is our window as you can see we have a nice window so now i'm going to uncomment so what we need to do now is to, uh, create some buttons um in here we do our stuff here so i'm going to say button button equal to button so that's our first button we're going to pass in the window and then we're going to say text is going to be person one just speak okay we're calling uh we're you know getting the text actually no, no no the text is going to be file name file name and then the command the command the function we well, want to run when we click the button is going to be person one just speak that's the function that we want to run okay 
and then I'm going to give it a padding uh, on the x-axis I'm just gonna give it 20 and then on the y I'm going to give it 7 okay that's for the padding so here I'm gonna say button window equal to uh, canvas dot create to create so what are we, what are we creating here we're creating a window okay so in here I'm going to position it uh, 150 150 for the position uh, x x axis is like uh, 150 150 y x y okay and then we're gonna do window and then we're just gonna do button here we're gonna put the button in the window now let's save Okay, something wrong with uh, file one. File this should be file two. Okay, file two. So here, file text. Okay, let's save. File one, file text two is equals to file one to read. What's going on here? Uh, .txt. Oh, this should be file two dot read. Okay, so now let's run this. There it is. So when I click, this is a file one text. Go to the next line. It's um, uh, it's working. So I'm gonna say this one instead. I'll just say this is maybe John. John speaking, and then I'm gonna create person two. Person two, I'm gonna say maybe this is uh you know Mike John and Mike. So I'm going to duplicate these buttons here. And then I'm just going to change from person one to person two. And then yeah, I'm just gonna change also the coordinates. So button win two. I'm I'm gonna say this is uh button two. Uh button two. So for the coordinates, I'm going to set this to 200Y. Okay, let's, uh, let's save this. This should be person 2 speak. So command, we want to call the second file. So now let's run this. By the way, you can also run this from the terminal if you want to. Or you can, you know, install Python. So now, when I click mic, John. Okay, I think we're reading the same file for some reason. Uh, file text two. Okay, we need to see. Okay, this should be file text two. So now let's uh, rerun again. It's running already. Cancel. Okay, so now John. This is a file one text. Go to the next line. Okay. Okay, yeah, so that's basically it for this video. So please, if you like this video, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe if you want me to make more videos like this. Usually, I don't make a lot of videos because, you know, people are not sharing or subscribing. So yeah, if you want more content, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you on the next one.